See that RV right there on its side? It rolled over right behind me because I guess they decided that they were going too slow and being passed by trucks was bad or something. But anyway, a man fell out of the, after the, while the pickup truck's rolling over, the windshield came out, a man got thrown onto the ground the driver and his two pass other passengers were little girls stayed in and uh, they disconnected from the trailer flipped back on their wheels and then they said they left so I'm here no pickup truck no person pulling that trailer and I gave my report <sighs> I'm free and clear to go so let's go His, his trailer got in one of these ruts and he sped up too fast because I was passing him. He was doing about 60, maybe a little under 60. I was doing 65. I was passing him and he sped up and he kept pace with me. Then I saw that he was starting to lose it. So I just put my foot to the floor and I was damn near 70 miles an hour when I got past him. And I looked back and his trailer is almost on its side and it rolled the truck over too and disconnected and his truck rolled back over on its wheels and his windshield was gone. I saw somebody get ejected out of the truck and he smashed his head against the ground or got rolled over by the pickup. I don't know, but he was in pain. And uh, I gave my report and now I'm on my way. Nothing else to do. Hopefully everybody stays alive and stays out of jail. Well, staying out of jail is going to be pretty bad because the guy left. He left an accident scene, even though it was his accident. So I don't know what's going to happen about that. Anyway, so that took 20 minutes off my time. It's all right. It's all good. It's for the greater cause of camaraderie, of camaraderie, camaraderie, camaraderie. Is that right? Uh, of the human race by, by staying there and giving my accident report and because I didn't get any information off that pickup truck except it was a blazer with no windshield now and I don't know what else so that that 32 foot travel trader was way too heavy for that pickup truck or blazer. That blazer is way too small for that trailer because it was all fish shelling, all the weights on the drives, on the drive tires, and the geometry was all wrong. There's no weight on the steer tires, so fish shelling was really, really easy. So I'm glad I got past him, but I had to stop and back up to him. Then he left. I told him he had to stay, and he left anyway, so I can't detain him. That's not me. He wants to go, he goes. I just stayed there until the police department shows up, and after that, it's no longer my problem. Sorry to say. Anyway, kind of wish I had uh, cameras on my mirrors facing backwards would have seen it all. Okie doke. I'm back on the road. I think I'll name this one Crash Boom Bang. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.